air war over occupied Europe rages through the fall of 1943. Despite their losses, the American 56th Fighter Group scores some spectacular successes. A trio of star pilots emerges. Bob Johnson, Jerry Johnson, and group leader Hub Zemka all shoot down five planes. They win themselves the title Ace. They basically became the, the elite fighting group. You happen to have a lot of talented and very aggressive pilots who are just eager and yearning to, uh, to rack up those kills, and Zemke stokes the fire somewhat. Squadron leader Francis Gabby Gabreski is desperate for a piece of the action. November 26, 1943. The three squadrons of the 56th escort a bombing raid, dubbed a ramrod, to Bremen in Germany. As they approach the target, all hell breaks loose. Gabby, break right! When I was in a dogfight, it, it's almost like a, when you're a little boy and you're a fist fight. You don't even think about anything else. I mean, your butt is it's right out there. Leading from the front, Gabby takes down two Messerschmitt BF-110s. Welcome to the club. He's done it. He's joined the elite club of aerial gladiators with five victories. Francis Gabreski is an ace. He's getting more respect every time he shoots one down. Everybody's happy for him. On that day, the 56 gets 23 kills, a remarkable total. The press snap a morale-boosting photo of the heroic pilots. So here's to Kabreski, our newest ace. They celebrate in the usual fashion. Really, it's a, a celebration within the squadron and within the fighter group. Yeah, you know, we've got another ace. I mean, there was terrific rivalry amongst the fighter groups and amongst the squadrons. You know, everyone was desperately trying to be the top scoring unit, you know, so there was real pride in that. Gabby's tally is marked up on his Thunderbolt. These little markers, these are kind of morale boosters. They're a means of keeping spirits high, of giving people targets, of keeping people focused, you know, and he, he absolutely buys into that. <laughs> 